GXL Defender plus nine. Making sure your gear. A blood is veil good. made of armored plating, highly resistant to elements. It's like resist gear. And it has the the puppies of power. Yeah, puppies of power. Who knows what's waiting through here? No thanks. There's the elevator, Sparkwood. An elevator. Does it lead to our goal? Wow. Vivify. Just want to roll around in garbage for a little while. Very, very still. He won't notice that we broke half the room. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh, what's this place? What is this place? Like bog in a china shop. There's a document in there? In where? This ladder should make getting around easier. Okay. That makes it easier to get up and down. Does it? Thanks. After all, hey, that's the that... duty with which I have been entrusted. It is my reason to be. Okay. All the stuff by the elevator. Sorry. Moving out. There's a document in there. He still doesn't see us. I love it. There has to be something here. There's no way to get back up here. I've been waiting for you. Please, spin a thread of memory. Spin a thread of memory. All right, we've got Eos. Let's 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 look at some memories here. Memories. You're always standing around and protecting me. I don't need you to do that, you know. Are you saying that you have no need of me, successor? No, that's not what I mean. Just. That's what he means. I don't want you to waste your whole life on me. I'll be all right. You should live for yourself. Live for myself? <laughs> live. <laughs> she reminds me of the ar arranged wife in the Coming to America Eddie Murphy movie. Do you have a favorite food? Yes. What is your favorite food? Whatever it is you like. My successor, he said I should live for myself instead of as an attendant of the relics. Bark like a dog. Arf, arf. No, a big to dog. What end? Woof, woof. My duty, <laughs> the entire reason for I love that movie. is to stand by my successor. If I were to abandon my duty, then my life would have no meaning. Successor, forgive me, but this is the only place I have. I can belong nowhere else. As your attendant, protecting you is my duty. I was made to stand by your side. And so, as long as you remain in this place, I will also remain. Now and forever, until the time of your salvation. You think he's doing a sequel to Coming to America? Yeah, I've heard something about that. 
cheese, cheese stick almost on the floor. An attendant can only find meaning in the pursuit of their mission. There can be no other life for them beyond the one they were made for. That sort of life, it seems like such an awkward, sad existence. If I had never met you, I think by now I would also be. Let's I've been this. waiting for you. Wait, it gave you my nine heals back. Restoring Please. vestige does that? Alright, so I can still repair B. I can't repair C. Wow, there's a lot of these. Are we gonna Wow, are we gonna be like in the next half hour in these cutscenes? taken to a facility. There I saw other attendants lying in beds, all of them connected to machines. It appears to be a laboratory of some kind. However, no matter how desperately I search... So he cloned these, these girls? Is that why they're like all the same looking? Still, I can feel it. It feels like my successor is so close. A man named Mido, in the pursuit of his research, performed experiments on the other attendants and turned them all to ash. Even now, I can still feel my successor somewhere nearby. I have to keep searching for them. It is hard for me to move, but I must. I have a duty to ease the suffering of my successor. I must fulfill my duty. I wish it was more of like a passive just cutscene that you watch. Like slowly moving through and watching these like just still images come up. Like, it doesn't enhance anything for me. It's like work. Slowly move through this. Completely heedless of oneself or others. Wandering, lost, and directionless. Hoping only for the safety and well-being of their successor. I was the same way. Even when another attendant attacked and came close to frenzy right before my eyes, even then, I could not break my focus. But I wonder, is that really how it should be? I don't know. I don't know where the, um... You said there was a document right near the elevator? Sparkwood. Oh, here's one. Let's see. What's this? Hey, that's. Aha! Uh -huh, there it is. The red mist analysis. See, at least when we saw Dominic, his um, his take on things was kind of interesting, and you didn't have to go through loading screens and slow walks to hear his story. But I don't know how to get What's back to him place? easily. Let's see if we can go up the elevator and at least get a rest point or something. This elevator is. Or down the elevator. So am I going down? Down.
That's a long way down. All right. I feel like they're hiding the load screen. I just ended the game. What do you mean? So what's the rub on this game story? It's really kind of convoluted. But basically the world ended. Everybody became these revenants and they need blood to survive. And people can become like animals and lose their humanity. Final area you can't return from. I can't go back up. Oh. Don't run too far. So should I do anything I want to do before I jump down there? do this ride one more time after this what is with this i don't understand why is it so long no please bring me back downstairs please i can't believe i have half a million haze I don't think I do. I don't think I have a good handle on this story, even though I've played this for over like 30 hours now. It's so confusing, like how it, everything gets spelled out. But there was like epidemic, and people were used for experiments because there were people that were compatible and not compatible with certain blood, and they were experimenting on. And then the the girl that was the ultimate compatibility was great at figuring out all of these wonderful things because they were able to, she was able to survive these experiments but then she eventually turned horrible and ruined everything be pretty bummed if this thing wasn't working all right let's see what happens thanks Junel. yeah i like this shirt too scar a monkey's uncle I cannot understand. The actions you've chosen to take, they can bring nothing but further disaster to this land. I cannot allow that mistake to repeat itself a second time. Stand by their side and attend to them. That is enough. She it is the duty no. with which we have all been entrusted. Say no. If you lose your way, if you take one false step, it will lead to that same result. Let us be off. <laughs> She's unfazed. The two of us have our own duty to fulfill. Head nod. That's all your character does. They ask you to pick a voice when you create your character, and he never uses it. Well, not never. Doesn't he, like, say something when you fall off a cliff? Up, eyes open. Come on, let's move. Wait, is this the elevator? No. I'm like, if I get on that elevator on accident, I'm going to be pissed. This place sends chills down my spine. Yeah, he says, oh, crap. All right. Gross. There's a lake of blood down there. Mmm, tomato sauce. 
want to rest? I would like to rest. I am going to where are where what is this place called? Teleport. Okay, jail of the stagnant blood. All right, I'm gonna go back to base. You aren't too hard to work with. I know it sounds weird, but I want to upgrade. I want to see if I can upgrade my weapon, armor, anything we need for this last fight, and then we'll jump in. Talk to the peeps one last time. Reports claim that an unidentified horror appeared at the time the red mist vanished. Take care, even if you aren't going near the mist. Okay. So, you can make other people's power your own by taking on their blood codes. You'll yes. need strength for the battles ahead. I'll lend you mine. Oh, nice. Take it. Is this going to be Heimdall? I finally got Heimdall! Nice. Now I am a shield to defend you, as well as your sword. Alright. I'm not going to use it because I'd have to respec everything. But, yeah. I know it's only been a short time since we met. It feels like we've been together a long time. It does. It feels like it feels a I know long what time. I have to do. So you only need to focus on moving forward with what you're doing. I'll watch your back, no matter what. The red mist appeared without any warning when the queen fell. It trapped all the revenants like a giant cage. Many people thought it was divine retribution for breaking the laws of nature. But it illustrates the power of the relics. Maintaining it must have required a tremendous amount of blood beads. In any case, if that mist is to protect the outside world, then I will make sure it stays standing. Let me know anytime you want to head out. You're not sure what that is? That's a new blood code. So blood codes is their name for class in this. And you can unlock a ton of different classes, which make your stats scale different ways and give you access to... Uh, different abilities and such. That bastard Mito kept up his stupid games until the very end. If the red mist disappears again, we're doomed. We have to hurry to see Silva. Okay. But Heimdall, what... The reason why Heimdall I was cheering about is last night when I was looking up different builds to beat the boss I was stuck on, they recommended I equip the Heimdall class, and it was like the one I didn't have. I hope that a day will come when humans and revenants can work together and join hands in fellowship. I'm sure it will take a very long time, assuming it ever does become a reality. Still, it's one more reason we can't allow the world to come to an end. People are all like, we can't allow the world to come the to an end. And I'm the one that has to like stay in eternal damnation. Everybody else gets to just live their lives. She's like sleeping. If you're sleeping, don't get You'll up. You'll be okay. I know you can do it. Relax. No matter what happens, we'll always be right there with you. That's, that's a lie. You're all going to go on with your lives and leave me in a prison. We are here. Are you getting up now? I will stand with you until the end. I do not want you to suffer alone. She's that the only one willing the to come with me. I've got a whole new line of stock in, thanks to my Herculean efforts. But see She's the only one not talking about the tragedy of the world. She's just like, I did something Wonderful. awesome. Everyone's still safe. What happened? I thought there was an earthquake, and then the red mist seemed to vanish. And I thought I heard strange cries in the distance. I hope it was only my imagination. All right. This is where we want to upgrade. Upgrade what weapon. Upgrade? I would like to upgrade. 
Where's my obliterator axe? Oh, I don't have queen steel. Hmm. Make sure you get back safe. Do you have queen steel over here? I needed five. Stock up. If five you want items. It, I got it. Queen steel. I'll buy ten. I'll buy a couple of those. I'll buy some of these too. Wow, those are expensive. Uh, queen iron. Go out there and give it to him. All right. Don't forget. Upgrade equipment. What do you want to upgrade? Upgrade weapon. Obliterator. Yes. Again. 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 Tungsten. Ultimate armament. All right. So I can't go any further than 10 with that weapon. Um... Now, in case I want to do anything quick at some point. Can't go more. Oh, I don't have any more steel. No more steel for you. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? I don't know what. Maybe we'll do this one. Silver garb. Okay, we got max level silver garb. Um, make sure I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch Stuck. of these mats while we're here. If you want it, I got it. Twenty of those, twenty of those, fifteen of those. Go out there and get it's great that you can just go crazy and buy all the stuff you want now. Don't forget. What do you want to upgrade? All right, where was that enduring crim crimson? Yes. Okay, can't go all the way up to level ten yet. Make sure you get back safe. All right, and I guess the rest of the stuff we can level up. Level one hundred and twelve. Probably should have did this before I even uh, used all that stuff. Heimdall. Because I got new skills here. Leap and slam down with all your might. On offensive skill, perform with one-handed sword, halberd, or bayonet. See, I could have gotten that, but I'm dumb. Increases the speed of charge actions, increases dexterity and fortitude, increases maximum stamina of you and your partner. All right, well, we can't do that now. Let's teleport. Let's go, gang. Here we go. This could be it. Were I not able to before, or was I just hoarding? Not able to do what before? Upgrade my weapons all the way? I, um... The shop had inventory that was limited when I was working on my gear last night. I wasn't able to buy all that queen steel. It seemed like it stocked a whole bunch since last night. I also didn't have nearly as many okay. uh, haze. Okay, let's get going. All right, perfect place for a final boss fight. You guys excited? You guys ready? I wonder how hard this is going to be. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, he's got a wolf face. Two 
giant swords. All right. Nevalor, he does not look happy. He's got the demon dog sleeves too. Oh God. All right. Good luck with your meeting, Edot. Let's bring it any time. You're a godsend. No harm in being prepared. All right. Back in the fight here. Or not. That's what you look like when you're angry, Junelle. Hey, Brew Brew, what's going hey. on? How goes the weirdness today? You got tacos, Ready for this. No Bunch of lies. Doggy attack is fast. Bring it any time. Oh, that's that's bigger than I thought. Seem harder this time. Nope. 
uh, Bryn Hilder. Thanks for following, by the way, a couple minutes ago. Oh, there you are, Bryn Hilder. Bosses always seem harder second time. That happens to me in any game that's challenging. The first time I face whatever it is, it could be like a really hard platforming segment, jumping puzzle type thing, or a boss fight. The first time before you have any anxiety, before you have any expectation, you do far better than any subsequent attempts. <laughs> I don't know what that is exactly, but. I think it's before frustration sets in. So you're excited to be doing something new and cool. But you're also not worried about it. There's no expectation. Much obliged. Bring it any time. at the wrong time. They're bad days. That's true. All right. Well, let's see. Um, I don't need this. Let's boost our attack power instead. Um, Prepare now so you don't regret it later. Time for some payback, huh? Ah, I appreciate it. No harm. Okay. Uh, uh, says, I remember seeing this boss fight on a different stream when the game first came out. They had a really hard time with it. I wouldn't say I'm having a hard time with it yet. This is only my third attempt. Check back with me in a half hour. If we've made zero progress, then I'll complain.
killed myself there. Killing Yakubo! me. Oh, so close. So close to seeing if there's phase two or what. Damn. Damn. That was close. Oh, you're up again. So greedy. I don't know if I was greedy. I dodged a lot there. I actually avoided quite a few of his attacks that I thought I was gonna die to. Yakimo's dead already because I went down. I got eight heals, but all right. His attacks are interesting. He's got these pauses in his attack sequence that you gotta you gotta mimic. Yeah. <laughs> 